Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth, and welcome back to another video, folks. That's it. I'm doing another one of these videos. This is just before we get into the Federal Reserve meeting, and this is when things get interesting. But before we get into the video, first things first, if you see any comments pertaining to some amazing trader, and of course, with suggestions to go and check them out on whatever group they're on, whether it is WhatsApp or Telegram or whatnot, just keep in mind that this is most likely a scam and if you put your money with these people you will most likely lose it and never see it again secondly i am not a trader or a professional in terms of finance nor am i pertaining to be this is just what i'm doing this is just on how i am seeing the situation as it currently is so first things first let's have a look here it appears that uh we are up, but let's refresh that. So we are 0.33% down on the desk far as crypto goes. And of course, you can see that Bitcoin and Ethereum had a bit of a move over here. I don't expect anything too big over the next couple of days. And by that, I mean, let's say the next three days at least. Uh, interestingly enough, Luna did have a run up to $100. Now it's gone back down. So it has made a lot of ground or has covered a lot of ground to be fairly honest if we go further down right here shiba inu it is trading where i expected it to be so the 218 so quad zero two one eight this is kind of where i expected it to be um now if we look at the chart so this is the four hour chart i have been keeping my eyes on it as you can see we are still in a downtrend we are still in a descending triangle so i do expect this move to happen now my expectation is to for, to see this move on the 16th if i'm honest okay now i was a bit wrong when i said uh that i suspected or expected it i guess i expected the worst okay that that's that's my explanation so at this point when I made a video, I said I didn't expect to be touching this line. This is a line of resistance currently. And if we trade above it, it will, uh, yeah, it will become a line of support. So at the moment, we are struggling to stay above it. As you can see right here, this is what's happened last night, overnight. And of course, we are actually quite close to my prediction. I expect from here to see a couple of uh, red candles going all the way down. And... I hate it when that happens. Like, honestly, yeah, it's absolutely annoying when it does do that. So there's quite a big area on where apparently I can touch it. It's, this is just for orientation purposes anyways. So on the 16th, of course, I do have a couple of orders to buy out. But what's quite interesting here, so this is where we were last time. So this is kind of like the last Federal Reserve meeting. This is how far we fell. We are not far from it at all. As you can see, you can see on the far right, so right here, the price that we are at. And we kind of fell to 18.17. So definitely not far. And if we have the same movement, we're definitely going to be going down quite a bit. So even if we measure it, so say, remember, this is... A copy of this right so even if we measure it from here we are still going down quite a bit potentially touching the 10 so quad zero 10 mark potentially uh well we'll have to wait and see only two days to go i'm looking forward to what will happen so this is what i have to say for cryptocurrency nothing too interesting to say i do think that after this we might see a bit of sideways trading potentially a run up it really does depend on what will be happening in the future of course we have the whole ukrainian war to look forward to we've got future uh, rate hikes to look forward to so god knows only what will happen in the future but whilst i'm here on the subject let's talk about some stocks stocks that i am interested in uh some of that i bought in some that i continue to buy in especially uh well i'm gonna be planning to buy in um at the time of the federal reserve meeting which will be on the 16th so 15th we'll see the begin of a rundown i believe or a run towards the downside uh and so this is one of the things that is interesting to me and for that and let me explain why okay i want to pick up these stocks or some of these stocks because they've always been the types of stocks that grow over time however these companies so lvmh for example has pulled out of russia this means it's had a bit of an effect a bit of an effect on 
its price. That means it's seen a dip. Now, I don't know how the Federal Reserve meeting will affect this particular stock. However, if it does go down, I expect to pick up some more on the 16th. This is actually quite a good stock to have. So, of course, I've got this list right here of stocks that I will be looking at picking up. These are all luxury stocks. So, all sorts of luxury brands. Now, one of the ones that I do want is this one right here. So, let's just quickly check this out. We'll open up a tab right here. Uh, perfect. There we go. So this is what it's doing right now. If we look at the year, this is where the war happened. So I think... Yeah, I can't remember what day I picked up some. Um, I'm going to pick up some more, of course, on the Federal Reserve meeting. If I have money, we'll see what happens. But if we look at the five-year chart, as you can see, it is one of these stocks that keeps going up. Definitely want to be picking this up. It doesn't mean I'll see uh, a profit within the next couple of months, but maybe within the next couple of years, I do expect to see a nice return on my investment. And finally, the other one that I wanted to look at is, of course, Shiba Doge. Shiba Doge is also not doing all that great. So if we go to this right here, as you can see, we are quite down compared to what we were. So if we look at the three month chart, we're back down, but we're actually slightly higher than before when I bought in. And uh, I don't think I'm going to be picking up any Shiba Doge this time around. I am going to look at your major cryptocurrencies, but we are doing quite good holders. We seem to continue growing. Not a fast growth, but still growth is growth. We haven't really been on the trending page as much nowadays, but I guess there is a lot of negativity, a lot of negative news. So if we go back to this tab right here, normally we see it here in this tab, which is the trending tab on um, coin market cap. So let's reload this just to see what happens. Of course, it's not going to happen today, but normally it's been here in the trending section for quite some time. We'll see what happens where the Shiba Doge does end up. So, of course, this isn't anything special. We're basically just getting up to... No. So, of course, this is the video before the Federal Reserve meeting is about to take place. This is where we're at. So, if we're going to look at this chart right here. Now, this chart is for Shiba Inu, but I guess you can apply it to most cryptocurrencies in the sense that this is kind of what I expect to see potentially with all of the big cryptos. This is what price action I'm looking at. Um, I do expect that there will be a run to the downside on the 16th, which is where I'm hoping to pick up a bunch of Shiba Inu. Um, I don't know how much lower it's going to go. We do seem to have this line right here, which is a bit of a line of resistance. Um, I'm hoping that we don't fall too much be below it, because otherwise we will probably crash all the way down here. Um, I don't know what we have in the future for us. I do hope that we will start seeing some action to the upside. However, steadily and slowly, we have been going to the downside. So that is unfortunately what is happening. It is a bit of a crypto winter. I don't know how long this is going to last. Hopefully uh, around mid way through this year, we might start seeing some nice upwards action. It could take a whole year. It could take even longer until we actually go back into a bull run. However, as long as we are going down, I'm going to continue picking up. It is clear that crypto is here to stay and has the potential of making a nice, nice um, profit for us. So that is pretty much it for me. I will come back with another video after the 16th and we'll have a look at what happened, what I did. Was I right? Was I successful? So far, so good. My assessment was not too far off. I was right. So we are in a downtrend, which is what I said we would be doing. I said we would be trading below this line. We're kind of touching it either on the bottom part or the half part, uh, upper part, but we're still on this line. We are still in a downtrend, which is what I said. And as I said, I expect this to have a dip on the 16th and then back up and maybe trade a bit sideways with a run to the upside. We'll see exactly what happens. 
closer to the time uh, we'll get a good idea or a better idea what will happen after the 16th which is of course when i will make an update video to this video as well to kind of keep you guys updated that is pretty much it for me um i am going to be picking up a lot of crypto during that time so of course xrp and shiba inu r2 that i'm looking at i will also be looking at mana so that's the central land and uh, of course a couple of other cryptos potentially a bit of solana maybe some luna we'll see exactly how things are going on the day and that is it for me until next time stay safe folks